Hey guys, so if you do want to know how uh, I did actually connect my Xbox One controller to my Google Nexus 5, uh, it should also work for some other rooted devices. I couldn't get it to work my Galaxy S4 or my Galaxy Note 3, um, but I got it actually to work first on the Galaxy S4, but then it didn't want to work. Um, and I'm running those two on a, the, the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Um, it might, and that might be the problem why it is not working, but it actually is working here uh, with my Google Nexus 5 with Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Uh, and I made videos showing that um, with the cable, of course, because this one doesn't have like Bluetooth. Uh, connectivity install but basically what you use here is uh, you use one of these apps called USB joy service uh, you can find it here if you search for like BT joystick uh, by poker 64738 now this app is a little bit glitchy sometimes it doesn't want to work for some smartphones but it did work here fresh uh, on my rooted and uh, Google Nexus 5 so basically how the app works here is uh, yeah, you need, of course, the Xbox, you know, this one, yeah, but then you also need some other things. You need one of these um, uh, on-the-go cables, this one uh, is something that you do need. So we convert it to normal USB here to like a mini USB, uh, and there's a lot of them out there for like two bucks. Uh, and then you need, of course, standard uh, cable here, charging cable that almost any Android device is coming with. Uh, and you can probably also be able to buy it pretty easy. This one is just a normal Samsung random. Uh, and then what you do want to do here is you just want to connect it. So of course here with Xbox One, you can actually connect it here on the back. And this is not, as I said, this is not going to probably work for many people out there. And yeah, that kind of sucks, but shit happens, you know. Sometimes things just doesn't want to work out. Uh, and then you connect the other part here. And then you put it in here. And also what you want to do in here is, I'm turning Bluetooth off. Uh, you don't need that up there. Uh, but then you tap up here. And you want to select the input method to be USB Gold IME. Uh, so that one. And then you also want to enable this thing up here at the top. And then you just want to click here, not uh, down there, and then it will scan for USB. And now, of course, you need root access. And now I found my Xbox One controller. Uh, and then uh, I did uh, tweak two things here because I did see um, phone buff on YouTube do that. And that is first this touch edit. So tap on that one. And I'm just using uh, this button right here now. So I'm gonna click on that one and, uh, and, and it's gonna be selected. So that's gonna be the edit button when you edit the games. Uh, and then you have a touch mouse. I just selected this one and then tap on this. I'm not sure if it's doing anything, but hey. Uh, and now what you wanna go do here is you just wanna go on the back key uh, and you wanna go to your game. Uh, I'm using GTA San address here. Uh, and now of course you wanna tweak the, the button layout. Um, so what you do is you, you open up your favorite game and let's see here I don't want to get arrested but I will be arrested first but what you want to do right now to edit the buttons for the controller uh, you just tap on this edit key here and you can immediately go out of it as well and then it will save uh, the current setup but tap here and here you can add buttons and, and stuff to the game uh, so basically uh, you just tap on this little plus sign here um, so I'm just gonna tap on it and now you just tap on a button uh, on your little thing here so you can see the text now after you've added that or when you want to add a, a button uh, so I have clicked on plus now you just touch uh, here on the controller the button you want to add so let's say I want to add this one I'm just gonna tap on it and you can see now this little red thing here, uh, that, that one is the button basically, and I can tap to remove it. I can also increase and make it bigger in size. You can also see my other buttons here, very, very advanced. You can see here when I'm moving, you can add a joystick, uh, and you can make it bigger and smaller here. So very, very, very cool. Uh, and then you can see I've added a ton of other buttons here. It's very, very simple. And then when you are finished, you just tap on this little button again or whatever button you now picked. 
and it will save and you can play the game. So yeah, it's just a quick little demo here of how you can do this yourself. And as I said, it's not gonna work probably for most or for many people out there because I couldn't get it to work on my Note 3 and my Galaxy S4, but it worked on my Nexus 5 um, with Root as well, of course. Never forget that, it's kind of important if you wanna get it to work. So yeah, peace out.